I'm going to show you the new Virtual Line coffee and espresso machine from Nespresso. All right, I'm familiar with the Nespresso brand as I have had the original Nespresso machine. Uh, a couple of differences here, and let's start with the Aircino. This on the new Aircino, this is what froths your milk and warms your milk. It basically, uh, a couple of differences is the mixer. You see here, this is the actual storage. I can do this all one-handed, so bear with me. All right. This is what actually froths the milk. And then there's a second one that actually just stirs it instead. Okay, but the nice feature is now that there's a magnet built into the lid. So that, that's not dirty, it's just moisture. Uh, so that it actually holds it there so you don't have it floating it around. Another nice feature is you can either froth the milk warm or cold. So if you give it one quick press, you see the light turns red. That's going to warm the milk while stirring it or frothing it. If you hold the button down for a couple of seconds, okay, you see it turns on blue. So it's gonna froth the milk or spin the milk uh, while it's cold, okay? So getting a little cool or foamy milk, all right? So it's also better to use a low-fat milk rather than a half and half or anything like that. Low-fat milk's gonna give you a thicker foam, so keep that in mind. All right, when actually making a cup of coffee, you have two different Nespresso pods. This smaller one is your espresso. This larger one is for a cup of coffee. Now, the way you make a cup of coffee is quite very simple. We open the lid, we pop it open. Notice there's no on button or anything. You didn't see me turn anything on. We're gonna put our cup right down here. And then we're gonna take our cup, put it in like that. It's as simple as that. You close the lid. All right, again, notice button is not on, all right? So then you turn to lock, all right? Now you notice the button is lighting up and you'll see it's throbbing a little bit. Now what that's doing, it's getting itself ready, all right? When it's solid like it is, you basically just push the button, all right? And it's going to whip you up a beautiful cup of coffee. Now a couple of things to keep in mind in the meantime while this is making coffee, you'll notice there are different colors. Those are different intensities and they come with different names. So you, this is Stormio, this is probably, this is I believe the more intense one uh, in flavor. Then you have, this is what they look like when they come out used, just to give you an idea. Because what it does is the water goes in the center, but it grabs this here and it spins at 7,000 RPM while brewing. All right, so keep that in mind. That's how this makes it. So it's actually spinning and brewing at the same time. And then it dumps it out in the coffee catch can on the side there. I'm going to show you how that works. But that's what he used or spent uh, capsule looks like. All right. So as you can see, we're finishing up our cup of coffee here. And look at that thick head of crema on it. And it looks like we're actually going to overflow a little bit. That's not good, is it? Look at all that foam. All right, now I'm using a little bit smaller cup here because I wanted you to see how much it is. And actual coffee, all right, is right at about eight ounces, okay? Now you can reset the amount of coffee it makes. All right, there is a way to do it. You basically, when you go through the brew process, as you saw before, hold down the button until it gets to the desired ounces you want then let go and that will permanently set the button or set the amount of coffee it'll make each time all right so it fills it right to the top on this eight ounce plastic clear cup but you can see that thick foam crema on there see how thick look at that that is not just that is not foam that is crema my friends look at that that is thick all right now uh when you've finished you're going to swap back to the center, open it up, and the old capsule falls into the side dispenser over here. So this is where all your old dispensers are. All right, you're going to make a cup of espresso the exact same way. All right, so let's move this off. And we got a little bit of a mess there because of the smaller cup size. All right, so let's just clean that up. Give it a little white. This little tray in the bottom here does pull out, and this does lift off. But the whole tray does pull out. Oh, this lifts off like that, I'm sorry. 
And then this slides out for ease of cleaning so you can remove the whole tray and wash it. Okay? Now, what we can also do is this sits, locks in up in a higher location, as you can see like that, in order to make your espresso. Alright, we're going to grab our espresso here. And again, same process, close the lid, lock it. See the lines light up to lock it. All right. And then again, we push the button. Now what it's doing is while it's spinning, if you notice, let's pull back our used unit again. This is our old used unit. Notice the barcode underneath here. What it's doing is it's spinning and reading that barcode. So it's saying, oh, this is an espresso, not a coffee. So it knows what it's making now, and it's going to change the ounces and what it makes. So now it's going to make our cup of espresso. And again, you can see that thick crema foam. And that is the proper way an espresso should be. You can hear it already spinning down. And what it's doing is that's actually drying out the inside of that capsule. And there you go. Look at that espresso. All right, again, big, thick crema on there. All right, that's not foam, that is crema. All right, so that is your virtual line unit. Water goes in on this side. All right, holds 48 ounces. Regular cup of coffee is going to be about 8 ounces, and the espresso, I believe, is about 2 ounces. So that is the virtual line espresso and coffee maker brand new all right so that's how it works kids have a good day bye